Good morning, everyone. The intention for Holy Mass this morning for the repose of the soul of Monique, and we have the commemoration of Blessed Isidore Bakanja. This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God, did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. In silence we prepare our hearts with the help of the Holy Spirit that we may be attentive to the word of God and to the mystery of Christ's presence among us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, you brought your martyr, blessed Isidore, to overcome the torments of his passion. Grant that we who celebrate this day of his triumph may remain invincible under your protection against the snares of the enemy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldean by the river Chibar. And the hand of the Lord was upon him there. As I looked, behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, and a great cloud with brightness round about it, and fire flashing forth continually, and in the midst of the fire, as it were gleaming bronze. And from the midst of it came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the form of men. And when they went, I heard the sound of their wings like the sound of many waters, like the thunder of the Almighty, a sound of tumult like the sound of a host. When they stood still, they let, they let down their wings. And there came a voice from above the firmament over their heads. When they stood still, they let down their wings. And above the firmament over their heads, there was the likeness of a throne, in appearance like sapphire. And seated above the likeness of a throne was a likeness, as it were, of a human form. And upward, from what had the appearance of his loins, I saw as it were gleaming bronze, like the appearance of fire enclosed round about. And downward, from what had the appearance of his loins, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and there was brightness round about him. Like the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud, on the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. Such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens as well, the old together with the young. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his splendor above heaven and earth. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his faithful, the praise of the children of Israel, of the people to whom he is close. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia. <coughs> Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. As the disciples were gathering in Galilee, <clears throat> Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him and he will be raised on the third day. And they were greatly distressed. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the half-shekel tax went up to Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the tax? He said, Yes. And when he came home, Jesus spoke to him first, saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their sons or from others? When he said, from others, Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. However, not to give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them for me and for yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, Isidore uh, Bakanja uh, is uh, blessed, although the ordo we follow calls him a saint, but he's certainly a saint in many people's eyes. He was uh, born in 1887 and died in 1909. He was born in the northeast of the Congo. At that time, Congo was owned by a, the king of Belgium, Leopold. And uh, although Leopold, not by the Belgian country, but by Leopold himself as a king, he had um, colonized it and um, one of the big jobs that were uh, working in Congo at the time was make, taking rubber rubber plantations rubber from the trees making rubber and this man Isidore was a local man 
who was very poor, and but he trained as a bricklayer, laying bricks. <laughs> and uh, there were a group of Belgian Cistercians living in that northeastern part of Congo, the part of Congo that is, has been in civil war pretty well ever since. Um, and these Cistercians were, were contemplatives, but they were also missionaries, a bit like Marion Hill. And uh, somehow he got to know them, and uh, he got to know about Jesus, and he was baptized when, as a Christian when he was 18. But he was then working in one of these rubber plantations, and the manager and the agent who was running the plantation was an atheist and a very brutal person. And it was very common in that time, at the turn of the century, uh, for these colonialists to treat the local people like animals. They thought they were animals, at least that's the excuse that is given. And so something happened, oh yes, when he, when, when, when Isidore uh, became Catholic, he became a very devout Catholic. And he became very enamored of the rosary, which he said every day, carried with him, and also of the brown scapular of Carmel. And he wore his scapular. And he couldn't keep the faith to himself. He had to tell others, he had to share it. So he was seen as a kind of catechist, although he had no education at all. He had not been sent to school even. Um, but this, ma this man who was running the plantation couldn't stand um, him or his religious enthusiasm and wouldn't allow him uh, to show the rosary and so on and demanded that he uh, stop wearing the scapular. Now, Isidore refused to take off the scapular because it was for him a symbol of faith and the protection of our Blessed Lady. And so the man lost his temper with him and gave him such a severe beating that he almost died on the spot. He crawled away half dead into the forest, into the bush, and just to show that not all Belgians were as evil, the inspector of the plantations, on behalf of the king, uh, found this man crawling on the floor of the forest and discovered his story and took him home to his own house and cared for him, but he was so badly beaten, so badly scourged and whipped and kicked, that he died of his injuries. But before he died, the Cistercians were able to come and minister to him, and he was able to talk to them and make his peace. He was able to re receive the last sacraments. And he asked the Cistercians to tell his mother, who was living in a village some distance, that he was dying because he was a Christian, because this man had killed him because of his rosary and his scapular. And so he died, but his, his reputation grew. And uh, he was made uh, blessed by Pope John Paul II in 1994. And to my knowledge, he's not yet been uh, canonized. But 
What stands out, of course, is the fact that this man was only two and a half years a Christian. Two and a half years in which he grew in the faith so strongly that he attracted many others to the faith. His zeal was truly remarkable for a new convert. And his simplicity, because he was completely unlettered and uh, really at the bottom of the ladder socially. But he had also a great grace in his life. And when the Cistercians said, now you must try to forgive this man what he has done to you, he said to the monk, I have already forgiven him, and I pray for him, and I will pray for him in heaven. So he gives an example of faith, of zeal, of forgiveness, and of humility. And therefore, he shows that the faith can take root deeply in people throughout Africa. And it's for Africa and for the Congo, which is still torn apart with violence and war. And especially in that northeastern part, where Isidore came from. So we ask his prayers and intercession today. Isidore Bakanja. Pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
Sanctify our offerings with your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set on fire with that flame of love through which blessed Isidore overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Isidore, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous work by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We claim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With all the saints and with all those who have the name of Christian, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. <coughs> the blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. Amen. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which rendered your blessed martyr Isidore faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. <coughs>